Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the part 3 of the backpropagation algorithm. In the previous two videos, I have explained about part 1 and part 2 where we calculated the forward propagation error and also in part 2, we have calculated the bra uh, backward propagation of error from output layer to the hidden layer. Now we are going to see from the hidden layer to the input layer in this video. So before starting the video, let me tell you something. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and also share it with your friends so that it will be useful for them as well. And if you are having your exam schedule nearby, just let me know the date of your exam in the comment section along with your college name so that I can do exam. Uh, sorry, I can do videos by your exams date and also according to your college syllabus. Okay, done. So now let us see. So while moving from the output layer to the hidden layer we have four weights associated there right w5 w6 w7 and w8 now when we are moving from the hidden layer to the input layer how many weights we have again four weights we have see w1 w2 w3 and w4 again we have four weights associated right are you able to get what i'm saying right so these four weights we have to modify now that is the task for this video so in this video i'm going to explain you how to modify w1 and uh, from that you need to apply the same process to all w2 w3 and w4 and you need to modify them okay done so yeah let us see so what is the formula for modifying the w1 uh, same formula which we have followed in the previous video for w5 the same formula you're going to use here so w1 star which is nothing but new or modified w1 will be equal to w1 minus this is the old one minus n n is nothing but the learning rate which is equal to 0 0.6 according to what we have taken you can take anything it's not like you have to always take 0 0.6 okay so de total by dw1 okay done so this is what you have to do and how do you calculate de total by dw1 this is one of the major and biggest task okay so d total by uh, dw1 is equal to first e total by out of h1 and out of h1 by net of h1 and net of h1 by w1 so this is the chain rule after applying the chain rule to this partial derivative you will be getting this so in, in these three things also in the previous video what we have done in part two what we have done we've got this this and this we just simply uh, multiply all, all of them so in the previous video finding each of them was not very complicated right but now in this video finding each of them is very complicated particularly this one these two are easy these two are again just one step but this one is a bit complicated just concentrate so in order to get e total you have to add e01 and e02 right that is what we have done in the first video right e01 and e02 you need to add so that is what you have to write here delta e01 plus delta e02 by delta out of h1 after splitting you'll be getting this now how do you calculate e01 and how do you calculate e02 okay for that what you have to do e01 by del um, out of h1 will be equal to e01 by net of o1 into net of o1 divided by out of h1 and here also you need to apply the and after elaborating this you will get this okay and again for this one you need to do this e01 by net of Oh, sorry e o1 sorry from that time i'm uh, you know reading it as 0 1 it's not 0 1 it's o1 i'm sorry for that so e o1 by net of o1 will be equal to e o1 by out of o1 into out of o1 by net of o1 okay again here also you need to split and you need to do that okay so now let us calculate um, first i'll show you how to calculate this right and the same you need to apply to this also so in this also we have two terms right this is the first term and this is the second term so how do you calculate this e o2 by out of o2 is equal to out of o2 minus target of o2 so what is the out of o2 we got in the first video 0 0.7729 so, so on right minus what is the target which is nothing but which is given in the question it is 0 0.99 so after you subtract you'll be getting this okay minus 0 0.21707 is what you get after subtraction okay so after getting this term now what you have to find out you need to find out this right so how do you find out that so uh, out of o2 by net of o2 will be equal to out of o2 into 1 minus out of o2 which is nothing but you need to substitute all and you'll be getting the answer as 0 0.17551 and so on okay done you got this also next what you have to calculate so now what are the things that you got you got this 
and this right so by multiplying these both you will be getting the value of e uh, yeah e o2 by net of o2 you will be getting this value right in the same way you need to apply the same formulas to this also and find out this value okay so you need to find out again you need to find out these both things and then you need to find out this done so we got this now what we have to find out you you got this and this now you have to find out these two values and then you have to multiply both of them so that you will get this and this then you need to add so that you will be getting the first term okay are you able to understand so i'm sorry if you're, you're not able to understand and if you're getting confused i'm trying to tell it in the best way all you need to do is remember these things that's all so done we are done with the calculation we calculated this one and this one by multiplying both of these you'll get this right and the same process you need to apply to e um, o1 by net of o1 also i'm not doing it again so the same process you need to apply and you'll be getting these also so instead of here o2 and o2 here you'll get o1 and o1 that's all and even here also instead of 2 and 2 you'll get 1 and 1 that's all okay understood now what you have to do after finding these both things you should multiply and you will get this okay now what you have to find out this one and this one you need to find out right so net o1 by out of h1 so how to do that net o1 by out of h1 simply on h1 on h1 net on total h1 sorry o1 net means or total right on total of o1 from h1 so on o1 in the sense where is o1 here it is right from h1 on o1 from h1 what is the weight here w5 right so w5 simply w5 will be the answer for that and you'll get 0 0.4 okay and you got this term also so on multiplying these two things you'll get this okay we are done with this now for, we, you have to calculate the value of this thing right so in order to calculate the value of this one and two you need to multiply these two things you got the value of these this by multiplying these two now you have to find out the value of this so net of o2 by out of h1 right net of o2 by out of h1 which is nothing but on o2 from h1 so on o2 from h1 what is the w7 right so the value will be directly equal to w7 which is equal to 0 0.50 okay so which means you also got the value of this one right so this one you already know multiply both of them then you'll get this and this so you have to add both of them in order to get e total see 0 0.13 in, uh, after doing all the multi all the uh, calculations after adding both of them you'll be getting the answer as 0 0.036350 three, something something and so on right so the value of this is what you got now that means only this single term you got till now you need to calculate these both also and then multiply all the three in order to get the final answer so now what is the answer that we got for this after calculation 0 0.0363 50306 something like that okay done why am i taking all the digits because in the error if you just take approximately one or two digits or three digits if you take i mean the decimal places two or three decimal places like that if you take then what happens you cannot notice the change in the error because each and every iteration each and every time you modify the weights the error will be reduced only by a very less fraction right so in order to observe the change you need to take all the digits all the significant digits you have to take okay done so you got the value for the first one you need to again calculate these two things also right so see here out of h1 by net of h1 you have to do right out of h1 by net of h1 is equal to out of h1 into 1 minus out of h1 you know what is out of h1 we did we calculated this in the first part so you have to substitute those two things and you'll get the value of this okay second term is also done now you have to f uh, find out the value of the third term right which is nothing but net of h1 by w1 net of h1 by w1 is nothing but you need to differentiate net of h1 with respect to w1 which is nothing but d by dw of w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus b1 right you are differentiating it with respect to w1 right so here you don't have any w1 term here also you don't have any w1 term which means this is a constant and this is also a constant where where its differentiation will become zero and this differentiation also will become zero because d by dx of a constant is equal to zero so both of them will become zero and if you differentiate this you will get it as a x1 done so what is the value of x1 0 0.05 according to our question right so you will directly take that now e total by 
the de total by dw1 will be equal to this times this times this right so what is the value of the first term that you have got 0.363 something and so on so 0. Point that into 0.2413 and into 0 0.05 on multiplying all of them you will be getting e total by w1 differentiation of e total with respect to w1 right so after getting this value what you have to do now you have to find out the modified weight of w1 okay if you are not able to remember all this stuff just write the formulas and come back even if you are not able to remember all these formulas and all remember this important formula and whatever the steps we have followed so three steps we have done right so first what we are doing just draw the diagram which i showed you uh, draw the diagram and in the first step we are calculating the forward feed in the second step we are calculating the backward feed in that first you we need to calculate uh, output layer to hidden layer then from hidden layer to input layer we need to calculate like that write something and come out the door but don't leave it okay because this is very important and there are chances that you may get this in the exam right so w1 star is equal to w1 minus n into e total by e w1 right so you know what is w1 w1 is nothing but old weight that is 0 0.15 minus n n is nothing but learning rate 0 0.6 into what is this value this uh, 0 0.004 something right so you need to uh, do the, all the calculation and you'll be getting the answer as 0 0.14973 and so on so this is the new weight new w1 like that you need to apply the same process to w2 w3 and w4 then you'll be getting the new weights after get in this step we have calculated new weights for w1 w2 w3 and w4 right so and in the previous step in the part 2 video we got how to calculate for w5 the same process if you apply for w6 w7 and w8 you will get those weights also so now you got a set of updated weights after doing the entire process you will get one set of updated weights and then you need to find out the error like how we did in the first video right and then you have to see whether the error is being reduced or not and how many times you have to follow all these three parts of videos steps until and unless you get the your error approximately equal to zero or below the red, uh, threshold value okay so don't get confused now don't worry about this just whatever you remember write that in the exam and come back if you are having if you get this question in the exam okay done but don't leave it right so that's all for this video if you're still having any doubts apart from what i've explained in this video just let me know in the comment section it is a bit complicated and i can understand please try please put some extra efforts to understand it more better and i can say some, that's all i cannot say anything apart from that and uh, all the best for your exam and if you want me to make any other videos or any other topics just let me know that in the comment section i'll definitely make videos for you people for sure